Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the black, Hispanic, and native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Downtown Conventional Center. It's got enough room for all of us. The Lord's 54th annual Passover. Last year, brothers and sisters showed up from all over the world rocking ancient garments and glorious apparel in order to serve the Most High in Christ. Now, it's that time again. Commander General Johanna's putting out the decree for all brothers and sisters to show up sundown, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us at the Sheridan in Raleigh, the hotel right downtown. It's at 421 South Salisbury. The Passover is right up the block at the convention center. Literally within walking distance. Make sure you pull up. Make sure that you do your due diligence because rooms are going fast and they are limited this weekend. You understand? We have months in advance of preparation. Do not wait till the last minute to get your room. The Lord's 54th annual Passover, Saturday, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us there. I send them curses to them enemies about these pagan holidays. These holidays have nothing to do with the Bible. So we're coming out to tell you the truth, not to celebrate these holidays. Because it's not of the Lord. This is what, this is thus saying the Lord right here. Read what you got, brother. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 6. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, Oh, the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim. But who's the who's the father of Ham? That's Noah, right? Noah had three sons: Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Shem is the progenitor of the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Ham is the progenitor of the other dark races: the, the Ethiopians, the Canaanites, the the Libyans. Keep reading what you got, brother. Oh God. And this and the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, and Put and Canaan. Drop down to verse eight. Come on, come on. Verse eight. And Cush begot Nimrod. And hey, remember this. Cush begot Nimrod. Cush begot Nimrod. Cush comes from Ham. So we got Ham. Then we have Cush. Then we have Nimrod, meaning that Nimrod is an African. Nimrod is an African. And what happened when in Christmas? Nimrod, he was a powerful man. He married his mother to keep the power in his nation. When Nimrod died, his mother said that the sun god reincarnated Nimrod into the evergreen tree, which is a lie. The deceiver wants to tell you that Jesus Christ was born on chapter uh, December 25th. But in the Bible, it says that Nimrod, his mother, Semiramis, said a disgusting lie that the sun god reincarnated her son, also her husband's spirit, into an evergreen tree. And in that evergreen tree, he was supposed to be forever, all the time. And if you didn't, if you didn't bow down and celebrate that tree, you will get your head chopped off. You will get your head chopped off. And you, and that's where those balls on the, on the Christmas tree come from. The ornaments of the, the tree, that's where it comes from because people were getting their heads chopped off because they didn't want to abide by the rule that Samaritan said about her fallen son husband. Uh, read Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 for me. Jesus loves you. Because the Jesus Most High God you. said, do not Jesus put any gods you. before me. Jesus and if you're you. celebrating Jesus Christmas, you. you're putting the you. sun God or Jesus Nimrod before him, which is an abomination to the Lord. Jesus loves the you. Most High God is a jealous God. And you're supposed to put no gods before him. Right. Read what you got, brother. Oh, God. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith who? The Lord. Say it again. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Say it one more time. Learn not the way of the heathen. Say it for the people in the back. Learn not the way of the heathen. The Most High God said, learn not the way of the heathen. 
The way of the heathen is celebrating Christmas. The way of the heathen is celebrating New Year's. The way of the heathen is praising MLK with an ugly statue. The way of the heathen is Islam. The way of the heathen is Christianity. The way of the heathen is Rastafarian. The way of the heathen is Buddhism. Read what you got one more time, bro. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Jesus the Lord said, you. learn not the way of the heathen. Jesus loves you but how do you know how to learn the Lord? How to love the Lord? You have to go into the book to learn how to love the Lord. You can't go off your own vain deceit. Read verse 3 for me, brother. Oh, God, verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs of the people are vain. They are nothing. Your customs are absolutely nothing. If it doesn't come out of this Bible, it's nothing. The words of God are the only things that matter. Your feelings do not matter. Read it from the top, brother. Oh, God. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, chapter 10, verse 3. For the customs of people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of a forest. Now, what does it sound like? Somebody cutting a tree out of the forest. We just had this pagan holiday just passed called Christmas where you chop a tree down and you put it in your house, right? Read it. The work of the hands of a workman with the axe. Somebody chopping down a tree, right? Keep reading. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. And they deck it with silver and gold. The, I don't even remember that form, but uh, the boughs of holly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Yeah. The, they put silver and gold, that little stringy stuff on the tree. That's Christmas right here in the Bible. Christmas is right here in the Bible. And what did the Most High God say first? Read verse 2. Oh, God. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And the Most High God just said, do not follow the ways of the heathen. In verse, what was the first four? Verse four, he was talking about the tree getting chopped down and you're decking with gold and silver. That's the way of the heathen. And the Most High God said, do not follow these ways. Keep going. Jesus has a plan for your life. Jesus is the way to Verse 3. For the customs of people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. Like we said before, you take that tree into your house, you deck it with silver and gold, you put your little presents underneath it, you have your ornaments on the side of it. That's a heathen way, an absolute heathen way, and the Most High despises these heathen traditions, these heathen customs. The Most High can stand, he cannot stand what man is doing on this earth right now. That's why he, he gave us this law, so we can come back to him, to follow not the ways of the heathen. Keep reading. Oh God. They fastened it with nails and with hammers that it not move. And you have your tree that's in the stand. Back in the day, they were putting nails in the floor, but now you have a stand to hold the tree up. This Christmas is a vain deceit. This Christmas is an abomination to the Most High God. And later on this year, when December 5th, December 25th comes up again, do not celebrate Christmas because the Most High God said not to. The Most High God said it's vain. It's vain. You are not supposed to celebrate these pagan holidays. Next, the, the next December 25th that comes up, you do not celebrate Christmas because God said so. Don't listen to what man says. Listen to what God says. God is the ultimate authority out here, not man. Do not listen to what man says. Listen to the words of this Bible. 
Uh, read that one more time. Uh, start, start at verse 3. It's the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 10, verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain, that means nothing. The customs of the people are vain. The things that, the things that Christians and Muslims and Buddhism, Christ that they're Lord. absolutely nothing. The Most Lord. High God doesn't care about none of that foolishness Jesus that they do. The Most High God, God only cares Jesus about Christ. His people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true God. ethnic Jews, the we Israelites. And He told us a certain way to live. We are not supposed to live like these other people live. We are not supposed to be following their customs. We are not supposed to be following their traditions. We are special people set apart. And we are not supposed to be doing everything that everybody else is doing. That doesn't make us set apart. That makes us all inclusive, in which God doesn't want us to be all inclusive. All right, uh, go back to Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 6. Because another holiday that just passed was New Year's. And everybody having a, a so called jolly good time out here, having all the fun and all the hoarding and all the drugs and. and getting drunk out their mind. Like, we are not supposed to follow these vain customs that these people do. The Most High God said that we are a set apart people, that we are not supposed to be doing what the world does. And did you know that the New Year's you're celebrating is the, the God Janus. It's a God named Janus. It's from Roman mythology. And it's the God of doorways, gates, and transitions. And of beginnings and endings, having two faces looking in the opposite directions. So that's Janus. That's the New Year's. You have a God, a man with two faces. He looking back in time and into the future. On January 1st, that is the God that you are serving. And the Most High God hates that. Because he said there should be no gods before me. So you celebrate Christmas, that's Nimrod and the Sun God. You celebrate New Year's, that's Janus. That's Janus. And you're not supposed to be celebrating no God other than the God of the Bible. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the Israelites. The black God, the nigger God. The, the God of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, read what you got, brother. Jesus oh God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, salvation. verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Once again, the most high God, the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he saved us. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he saved us. He brought us out of the house of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Keep reading. Thou shalt not so I, thou shalt have no other God before me. Once again, he said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And that's scripture. That's what the Most High God said. That's what God said. God said these words, not man. Read it again. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's it. I got a little uh, uh, excerpt from an article from Newsweek.com. On January 1st, well, they, they posted this on January 2nd, 2023. They said on January 1st, across the United States, a hundred, oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, appreciate you. Get it, get, come get a fly. Come get a fly, brother. This was posted on January 2nd, but on January 1st, when Newsweek.com posted, was that across the United States, 193 people were shot on New Year's Day, and 56 of them died. How can you have a New Year's celebration and you, your people are dying? Well, this Janus God looking in the past and in the future, he's not protecting our people. The, the vain ideology of these other religions are not protecting our people. The only thing that can protect us is if we come back to the ways of, of the Most High God, what He told us to do. That is the only thing that will be able to protect us, that will get us out of this hellhole. Not anybody saying anything that's on their feelings, but what's in the Bible. The Bible is the only thing that matters. Your feelings do not matter. Read it again. Oh God. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. 
I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's it. Drop that. Give me uh, Isaiah 56 and 10. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's in the Bible. The most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The most high God of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are a set apart people. We are not supposed to be joined up with everybody doing the nasty filthiness that they do. We are not supposed to be joined with these other nations of people. We are not supposed to be. God said, do every thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Christmas is some of his ways. New Year's is some of his ways. Praising MLK is his way. Valentine's Day is his way. Celebrating these, the these slave-owning the presidents on President's Lord. Day is his way. The Most High God told us not to do that. We are not supposed to fall for the for the okie doke and, and follow these people. We are not supposed to do that. Read what you got. Oh God. This is the ISUPK presents the 54th annual Feast of Unleavened Bread. Last year we did it big. This year is going to be way big, big, big. More brotherhood, more sisterhood, more UPK. On Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, we're going to be at 421 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Sheraton Raleigh Hotel Bar. Ball room. We call it all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians to come join us. To your third aisle peephole, line for line is shit too easy. It's like a free throw. Mastered the game too early. This bitch is Remember, admission to the Passover is $200 per adult. That's $200 per adult. For more information, Call 919-697-8257. Call 919-697-8257.